PID placement raises the system type by one and creates a closed loop system where three closed loop poles can be placed. In order to design a controller using PID pole placement, use delta of S is equal to DCDP plus NCNP, which is the characteristic equation, where GC of S is KDS squared plus KPS plus KI over S, which is the numerator of the controller over the denominator of the controller. Now let's try to illustrate this with in-class activity three. For a control system with GP of S equal one over S times S plus three, use a PID controller to place the poles at negative one plus or minus J on the square root of three and negative 10. So GP of S is equal to one over S squared plus three S, which equals NP over DP. The desired characteristic equation is equal to S plus 10 times S plus one plus J on the square root of three times S plus one minus J on the square root of three, which equals S plus 10 times S squared plus two S plus four, which equals S cubed plus 10 S squared plus two S squared plus 20 S plus four S plus 40. And finally, S cubed plus 12 S squared plus 24 S plus 40. And recall that the characteristic equation is also equal to DC DP plus NC NP. So that's going to be S times S squared plus three S plus KD S squared plus KP S plus KI times one. So when we simplify this, we get S squared plus the quantity three plus KD S plus KP that's S squared plus KPS plus KI. So when we equate coefficients, we see that three plus KD must equal 12. Three plus KD equals 12. So KD is equal to nine. And we also see that KP must equal 24 and KI must equal 40. So the controller GC of S is equal to 9S squared plus 24S plus 40 over S. The open loop transfer function, K, G, C of S, G, P of S, is equal to K times the quantity, 9S squared plus 24S plus 40 over S squared times S plus three. And the closed loop transfer function, T of S, is equal to 9S squared plus 24S plus 40 over S cubed plus 12 S squared plus 24 S plus 40, which does match our desired characteristic equation. So we know that our design works. And what you should notice here is that the order is now type two, where the original plant was actually type one. So now let's take a look at the root locus and the step response. So here's the root locus for the compensated and the uncompensated system. So you see here on the left, we just have two poles at zero and negative three, but there is no way to get negative one plus or minus J on the root three or negative 10 as poles from that root locus. So on the right, adding the compensator, the root locus has been changed. So it now includes three poles, including two at the zero and one at negative three. And now because of this new shape, it is possible to get 
negative one plus or minus j on the square root of three as shown with the data tip as well as to get that third pole at negative 10. And here is the step response before and after um, adding the PID controller. And what you should see here is you have zero steady state error for both responses. All of the second response looks a little bit more underdamped with a bit of an overshoot. And the other thing is to notice here is that the root locus has now moved a little bit to the left. And since that is true, the settling time is a little bit shorter. So whereas the original settling time was look around 15 seconds, the new settling time is probably a little bit closer to around three to four seconds. So there is some improvement in performance as long as the peak or the overshoot is not a negative in your design characteristic.